Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, we're going to take a look at another set of five useful Mac apps for the month of August 2018. Our first app is more of a web browser application, and it is specific to those who use Chrome. But if that sounds like you and you're someone who uses a lot of messenger services, this app could be super useful. All-in-One Messenger is a single app that can help you stay focused on a single app as opposed to switching between a ton of different Messenger applications. The best part is you can use as many accounts of the same Messenger platform that you would like, and the app comes with useful features like desktop notifications with support for one-click reply, and if one Messenger service is bothering you too much, you can mute notifications for that specific Messenger. Once you launch the Chrome app and get your accounts all linked up, you'll notice all of the services that you have linked in tabs horizontally across the top. For me, I use Facebook Messenger, Slack, WhatsApp, and TweetDeck. The cool thing with TweetDeck is that it actually is the full-fledged TweetDeck app, so you can browse Twitter and respond to any messages with all-in-one Messenger. The apps themselves will all look like your native desktop applications for those Messenger services, with full settings and options available to you as well. If you need to add more services or adjust settings for all-in-one, you can do so by clicking the settings icon in the top left corner. All-in-One supports a ton of different messengers like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, WeChat, Hangouts, Discord, and many more. Definitely recommend checking it out. Focus is our next app, and this one is pretty obvious. It's all about staying focused and productive. Based on the Pomodoro Technique, a time management method that uses a timer to break down work into intervals, traditionally 25 minutes in length, separated by short breaks. Focus is one of the better ways to organize your work into small chunks of deep and concentrated work or focus sessions. After each session is completed, you can take a short break to relax your mind, maximize energy, and stimulate creativity. Now there are tons of timers out there, but Focus also includes a minimal but helpful task manager that lets you organize the things that you want to work on. Focus will also help you keep track of your work and offer statistics so you can see exactly how your work day, week, or month is spent. The UI is simple and modern and integrates well with macOS, iOS, and even watchOS as Focus is available across all three platforms. Unfortunately, some of these features come at a subscription price of $4.99 per month or $40 for the year, which is obviously a better value, and one subscription covers all of your devices with iCloud Sync. Next up, we have Carrot Weather, which is a crazy accurate weather app that delivers some pretty funny forecasts to users. So if you're like me and work in a near windowless office, knowing what's going on outside in terms of the weather might be a little difficult. I really love using Dark Sky on my iPhone, but there isn't a Dark Sky Mac app available yet. Carrot Weather is definitely the best option here as it works with Dark Sky to help provide you with those really accurate forecasts. You'll also get features like precipitation and severe weather notifications, which is why I really like using Dark Sky on my iPhone, and the ability to view the weather of any location up to 70 years in the past or 10 years in the future with a feature they're calling Time Machine. And of course, there are also some pretty awesome animations and a little bit of character to go along with what might be some not so great weather information. Now, when I was looking for a weather app, I wanted something as accurate as Dark Sky that can provide me with notifications that I need so I know when it's raining or when bad weather might be headed my way. The fact that this has those features and offers a bit of humor with my forecast is an added bonus. Dr. Cleaner is our next app and it's an all-in-one free application that offers memory optimization, disk cleaning, and system monitoring for your Mac in order to help your machine run at peak performance. We've checked out a few similar applications in the past, but most of them were either limited in functionality or were heavy on the price tag. Dr. Cleaner offers a few key major features for no charge, like being able to clean junk files quickly from your menu bar, clean temporary files, logs, and mail caches, as well as offer clever detection of remaining files after an application was deleted. Dr. Cleaner can also offer a one-click scan of big files with multiple filters for size, date, name, and type. If you're worried about deleting specific files, important larger files can be locked into the protected list to avoid false detection. The UI is simple with a few different tiles of information for each category placed throughout, and if you want to optimize memory or clean files, these tasks are a simple button press away. Now there is a pro version of Dr. Cleaner available, but the free version still takes advantage of most of these core features. Finally, our last app for this month is Canary Mail. 
Ever since the announcement that Newton Mail, my personal favorite email client, was shutting down its application, I have been on the hunt to find the perfect mail app replacement. Recently, I came across Canary Mail, and while I don't think it's ready to be crowned the best email app yet or even the best one for me, I'm certainly liking the design and features that Canary can offer me. The most important feature above all is that Canary is very secure. With end-to-end -end encryption available, Canary ensures that only you and the person you're communicating with can read what is sent and nobody else. Best part is, all of this happens automatically with no need to turn on any settings or set up any keys. Canary Mail also offers a few interesting features such as Focused Inbox, which learns which emails are important to you and highlights them for easy access. One of my favorite features is support for natural language search, which makes it really easy to find older emails. And of course, smart filters also kind of help do a great job of keeping me on my toes and providing me with a list of emails that I've yet to answer or sort my emails by attachments. Read receipts, snooze, email templates, and one-click unsubscribe really help me make transitioning from Newton Mail to Canary a breeze, as these are some of the features that I would certainly miss the most. If you're looking for a new email app, I definitely recommend giving this one a try. Let us know what you think of these applications or if you have any other applications that you want us to check out in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.